folks, where the man Sam, usually the man in the big green hat. I'm here at Earth Day 2021 at Joe Wheeler State Park, hiking one of the last little stretches of the awesome trail that I haven't seen, the Semi Harden Trail. It's about three quarters of a mile long and it straddles the lake. Let's go see what all we can find. Here at the uh, first boat ramp, kind of started this. I've got the parking lot over there blocked off. Kind of have to wander around the edge of the the lake here to find the actual start of the trail. It's real close to the road, so I'm go ahead and apologize in advance for road noise or whatnot. Hope we we'll see some interesting little wildflowers. Kind of the weird threshold. Uh, it's a little pink something that's not quite open. Not quite sure what that is. Between the late season spring wildflowers and early, early summer. Maybe we'll come across some good stuff. A little dry drainage here. Down to the edge of the lake. Be a great spot to go fish. What not? That's a clear spot. One day I'd like to get the kayak down here and explore some of the little back coves and things. Find my way away from the road just a little bit. Watch the yellow sneeze weed around. About the only thing I've seen in bloom so far. Very thick with pivot here too, unfortunately. A little low spot. It's a female cardinal playing. This fallen tree here looks like a very large old beech tree. The shrubbery wasn't so thick, I'd love to look for carvings. The male cardinal was over there, and the female was just gone to join him. Uh, well, I'll creep up in here just enough for this. That beautiful trumpet vine. You threw the way, way high up in the tree. Gorgeous little flowers. We're in the heart of what you would call blackberry winter. Look at the thorns of some of these wild blackberries. None of these through here have blooms or buds, but with the canopy loss from the trees. I bet they do next year. This is an absolutely massive beefsteak plant. Look at this thing. This is chest high on me. I don't know that I've ever seen one this big before. It's really pretty cool. We still have some of the seeds left over from last year here. Beautiful bend in the trail here. This would be a wonderful area to put up a hammock and enjoy things. An interesting mix of pine and deciduous here. There's a sign right there. And another sign. A little social trail. I'm intrigued enough. No lifeguard on duty. Swim at your own risk. That's what that sign says. Don't bother with the other. This is really interesting. 
Look at this. This is a, a long concrete barrier. You don't really kind of see this thing in state parks, and that's a step right there. So it makes me wonder if this was an old beach area or something a long time ago here at Joe Wheeler State Park or day use area. It's a very old tree, so it would have been a long time ago. I think there's another sign there that says no camping. That's pretty interesting. Well, I walked over to the other sign. It does indeed say no camping, but that's an old, old sign. I'm going back into the tree like that. We'll go up here and take a I'll look at this other sign since we're literally right here. Let's see what it says. The same thing, no lifeguard on duty, swim at your own risk. Tree sure going up through a tire. I've seen a number of little trails go off to the water's edge. Great little fishing spots through here. So you to see any other little wildfire. It's nice to be just a hair back off of the road. Not hear quite as much road noise. A little road fell off here. But this is not where the trail crosses. People come down here and they use this old tree sort of sperm the block. <laughs> what a beautiful little site this is, huh? Little backwash area. I don't know if you can fish here or not. It might be hard. Get your line out far enough, I guess. Not snacks. A lot of litter too, unfortunately. Oh, look at all the pine cones. Just some nice pine cones. I got up there, it's full of them. I don't need any more pine cones. Interesting little water crossing here. More backflow from the lake than anything else. It's the low spot. But here we're up closer to the road. Might have even seen that truck going by with the boat there. It's a beautiful little stroll through the forest. Noise or not, it's nice to be on a different trail. Let's do something new, something different. Here's a treat. This is a native azalea. What beautiful blooms. This is a huge tree. It smells so good. Oh wow. Look like hunting circles, huh? Good advice. You are looking for them, but are they looking for you? Let's come up to the road crossing here. I guess it's as good a spot as any to park. It's hard to see this crosswalk. And honestly, I don't think I saw it on my drive in. Best to make quick work past this. No motorized vehicles. Violets will be prosecuted. See the little side trails off to some really nice homes and a little subdivision back there. <laughs> There's really no stopping people from doing that. There's no fee to get in a Joe Wheeler State Park, so that's not that much of an issue. I don't suppose. 
know the little trail leading off to the houses. Yeah, quite a mixture of deciduous and and pines through here and man even privet that's 20 25 feet tall it looks like. That is privet. Wow. This low area here would be interesting to see in the winter time, in the wetter months. See how wet it usually is. We had a bit of a dry spell here. It's kind of unusual for April in North Alabama. Would be a little water crossing. Maybe not much of one. Then falling from the sky. On the top there's this magni magnificent, I'm sorry. Tulip poplar. Riddle with holes from a woodpecker. But it's little blooms are everywhere. Oh, there's something very pretty little blooms. Fall up at such heights, they're kind of smashed. I was distracted enough by the power line cut. Almost missed this metal stuff over here in the woods. We'll walk over and see what it is. An old stove. Yeah, it's an old stove of some kind. The giant animal burrow, I guess. Let's see bed springs over here. This is an old camp. What was this? A cock. Very strange. Somebody's home up there. So that was possibly just an old dumping site. Oh look, another boat. <laughs> the whole field is this little... Well, I don't know what this is. It almost looks like hen bit, but it's so... so green and so lush. So pretty covered in these little purple flowers. Huh. Wow, oh, those are some absolutely magnificent magnolia trees. Huge. It's not something you come across in the woods very often. You hardly even see them in landscapes anymore, especially of that statue. And it looks like we're coming to the end of the trail, folks. Thanks for coming along with a little adventure. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep exploring and stay wild. And happy Earth Day. <laughs>